Hey, Mulatto is on the live right now. It's definitely going crazy. Y'all, y'all know I had to. I'm gonna just play it again so we can. So we can video out everywhere right now. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> hey, so what, what's going on? Uh, you say you're quarantining right now. I know we're going through this. Uh, this 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 crisis right now. Um, yeah. uh, what, do you, what what you been doing to to keep you like busy? I really like. We had went on a cabin trip. Um, probably like four days ago now. Like I wasn't even taking it too serious, but then like it was it was getting real. So I was like, okay, let me go home. So we came home. So I really only been quarantined for like four to five days now, and I don't really know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't sat down in like two months, so it feel weird. Like I don't, like the studio shut down, the gym shut down. It's like it's nothing to do but sit at home and eat. <laughs> hey, speaking speaking of eat, I, I mean, you from the south, south yeah. south south girls know how to cook. I know y'all know how to cook. I know you know how to Listen, get down. I don't cook like that though, but I can't cook because it's just in my blood. So what's what, what's one of your cook. favorite meals? What's one of your favorite meals? My dude? favorite, like anytime I cook for somebody, because I I do this just because I know it ain't no going wrong with this. It's I do that salmon crab cakes, um, shrimp. Mashed potatoes, asparagus, you know what I'm saying? Wait, That's oh, my little go-to because I know I'm going to kill it every time. So you throwing it down. You're you going you oh, go, yeah. you, you oh, yeah. to you trying to catch a nigga. You try. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, oh, my God. It's funny. Hey, so for, for those that don't know Mulatto out in Chicago, which they should know because he was on the rap game, uh, won the rap game, you know, and yeah. – you know, we we got up. You know, Nia K was on there. You know, you yeah. with, with D Lo. Um, shout out so Nia! Shout out to D Lo. That's my sister. That's my bro. Yeah, they, and they they talk they, they they talk so highly of you for real. Like uh, they definitely rock with you one hundred. Chicago rock with you one hundred for real. So, uh, so we definitely gotta get you get you up here once this all over with. We are gonna have a party in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Listen, <laughs> Chicago. I'm going. I ate the best piece of my life in Chicago. So I'm I'm hey, look. Wait, what, where you get, wait, where you get this pizza from? Where you get this pizza from? Dang, um, this was probably like a year ago. What was the name of that place? I don't know. It was like downtown, I think. It, it was just fire. You just all you it remember. Was somewhere the pizza. downtown. But I, all I know is some beef dish, like meat lover type of, you know what I'm saying? That was it, though. <laughs> that was it. Hey, we're gonna get you some more pizza. We're gonna get you some wings. You know, we're gonna take we gonna we're gonna take care of you, you know. Uh, Sir. I know I wait you you twenty you about to be twenty one soon, so we I am twenty one. Oh you twenty one? Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. All right, we get you a bottle now. We we got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna turn it up for you. Bottle. Don't do me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you into fashion as well, and I know you invested some money into fashion. Um sure. are, are you looking into your own clothing brand and clothing line and and putting stuff in stores. Hell yeah. Like, I love um, fashion, period. Like, when I was younger, I used to, like, design my own clothes and stuff. Like, draw. I used to have, like, sketches and stuff. Yeah. Um, but, like, right now, I got a boutique. I had, when I won the rap game, I had took that money and invested into an uh, um, online, like, boutique, whatever. It's called Moolah Boutique. And then I had recently just got too busy for it. Probably, like, a year ago, I had got too busy for it. So, I gave it to my little sister, you know what I'm yeah. saying, keep the money in the family. So that, she learned it, and she about to go to college and stuff. So that's like, you know what I'm saying, that's her little hustle. That's dope. That's dope as hell. That's dope as hell. And you real, I, you 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 definitely real big with the family, and your family definitely real big with you with your music career and everything. Um, growing up, what was you listening to to get you like into like, hey, I want I'm a rap, I'm gonna be a rapper. Yeah. So what? My daddy was like a, a hip hop fan like big on um hip hop as a whole. So like I grew up on uh, NWA, Bone mm. Thugs and Harmony, um Left Eye. My daddy loved Left Eye like far as female rap go, he loved Left Eye. Um I grew up on Chalk and then Atlanta, you know I'm from Atlanta, so like I grew up <laughs> on Pip, Jeezy, you know what I'm saying, Gucci, right. um Andre, Outcast as a whole. I, I grew up, I grew up like on that shit for real. <laughs> <laughs> for real. I, was, I was on the block for real. I grew up. On <laughs> yeah. Hey, so um, you got this new single out, "Be from the South." I'm not gonna say it because 
people gonna record this. Story, like, story, yeah, story. He, he out here calling him up. <laughs> no. So look, <laughs> you 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 got this single, eleven million views. You got a remix now. Um, Sweetie, Trina, how did that hey. even come about? Shout out to Sweetie, shout out to Trina. Like, it was so organic. Like, I literally DM'd them on Instagram, and it was that simple. Like, I was in the Damn. studio, we was in the studio brainstorming. My team was asking me, like, you know, the original was going crazy. So it was like, who, who would you want to be on a remix, whatever. And I was just saying Trina because she, be from the South, like, you don't get no <laughs> really than that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that was, that was off grip. And then I wanted to think of, like, one of the new girls, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I remember Sweetie had did an interview a while ago, and they had asked her, like, out of all the new girls, who would you be interested in doing a song with? And she had mentioned my name, so I was like, well, shoot, I'm going to hold her to it. And I DM'd her, and it was that simple. Like, they so real, like, all three, like, all three of us? Yeah. That's a look. That's so, a look. So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking y'all should just throw, like, a little quick EP project together, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, I'm down for it, because, you know, Trina, Trina the OG, that's the goal, for real. And then me and Sweetie, like, Sweetie Curran, like, she popping, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sweetie, Sweetie, and she's such a sweetheart in real life, too. Like, she called me when the video dropped on FaceTime, and was just like, she was like, thank you for letting me be a part of this. Like, she's so cool. Yeah, that's hey, I, I rock with sweet. I did, I did one of our first interviews at the station. So she, oh real, yeah, she, she's yeah, she so definitely, good. she definitely a sweet girl, and definitely, I, I love her energy for real. Um, uh, right. and I asked her this question before she got with Quavo, so I'm gonna ask you, uh -huh. what, what is, what is, what is Big Lotto, Lotto type? What, what's your type? My type, that's my type. That's <laughs> my type. Listen, what my type is? My type. I don't really go for like, like looks. Like I don't really got a type physically. Cause it like it could go either way physically like I don't really have a type physically, but I just like I like somebody I can relate to. You know what I'm saying somebody understanding. I like you got to be like mentally headstrong with me because I'm independent. You know what I'm saying and yeah. like I know a lot of boys be like, oh I want a you know independent woman and I want a boss be wire. You know what I'm saying all that. But it's <laughs> like in real life they be too insecure for that. So I so for me it's all mental. Like your mental gotta be up to par because I be running over, like I run <laughs> right over you, like yeah. Oh, so you strong man, you, you demand it. Somebody like me. You demand it, you demand it. <laughs> yeah, so I need somebody understanding and like willing to willing to be a team player rather than get offended or be insecure, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna be in the studio with different rappers i'm gonna have to be on the road i'm i'm not just like lay up and be under a dude all day type of yeah. girl so like he just mentally gotta be under par like we gotta match each other mentally <laughs> and you say you say in the studio you know you're gonna be in the studio with different guys and all that i know these guys like in your dms I, look, see, I knew it. <laughs> I <Is> knew it. <laughs> and the they, corona ain't helping because everybody just at home. Like, they want. Them. They want a quarantine day. They want a quarantine. <laughs> day. <laughs> hey, so look, how how do you respond to like these DMs and all that? Like, yeah, how, I ain't what? gonna lie. Like, I be I listen. I be playing the game right along with them. Oh, you want to talk? <laughs> Let's talk. Can I get a feature? Listen. Oh, so it's it's rappers oh, yeah. in your it's rappers in your deal. Oh yeah, rappers in a deal. Oh yeah, listen, I'm gonna finesse <laughs> for that feature. I'm gonna tell him what he wanna hear. And 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 say like, okay, you you tell him what you wanna hear. Now now what now? Then I'll be like, like we'll be talking, you know what I'm saying, texting, and I'll be like, <laughs> he'll be like, oh, uh, where you at? I'll be like, studio, come see me, and then it just go from there. <laughs> oh, you! Oh, you! <laughs> I got the beat already. It's in the beat. Yeah, period. Two steps ahead <laughs> of You want to see me? I'm at the studio, boo. Oh my God, that's funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, I mean, I know, I know, I know. You say you don't get starstruck a lot about you know artists or anything, but yeah. it's got to be one artist that you just like. Damn, I just like. For sure. Um, let's see. Uh, I be I be when I met Trina, I was starstruck. Like, I still be starstruck. Like I, I be starstruck every time I'm around her, especially like at the video shoot when it, I was around her and it was for something for me, like my song, my video. I'm like, I'm not just backstage with her at a show or something. Like this was pertaining to us working together. So I was dumb starstruck, but um, 
somebody that I haven't met that I would be starstruck for would be uh, Nikki. 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 Like, I grew up, like, I cut my hair in pains. I stood in line for Pink Friday. <laughs> like, I was Nikki. I was Harajuku Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, me, I never met her before. So, meeting her would be like, that would be iconic to me, iconic to my childhood self. Like I love Nikki. Damn. Oh, uh, we, well, we got we got to put them prayers in there that you you link up with Nikki. No, you period. Because she's not retiring without doing a song with me. There you she go. Not. There you go. Hey, we gonna we gonna make I'm we gonna make sure this live get to them. Like we we gotta tell yeah, everybody period. this live to send this to Nikki so she could be like, hey, get on the track. Listen, so. that's my best friend in my head because <laughs> she likes my picture on Instagram and she commented oh. on my um my little Instagram challenge, my little rap challenge. So yeah. we we basically cousins, so yeah, yeah. You know. Our family now. It's <laughs> we hey, and speaking of speaking of the South, it's an, it's another bad from the South, and I'm talking yeah. Megan Thee Stallion. Can we Man. can we get a, a remix with that? Is like I'm saying, like what's good? Cause I love me some Meg. I feel I like that song. Meg. I feel like both of y'all on that song were like what for the South that would go crazy. Like yeah. Sugar, her project Sugar, like I love the project. I love I love mid period. Anytime she pop up on my timeline, I'm liking a picture. <laughs> I'm listening to the uh to the new song, whatever. Like I'm I love me. She she hard. Harder than hard. Yeah, she definitely hard, and that savage, that savage, that savage record with the challenge she got going on yeah, right now. It's going crazy too. Crazy. Yeah. Um, Jay White produced it, and I was just in the studio with him. We had we did two. Two, I think two, two records together, maybe three. I think two, two or three records together, and they crazy too. So I'm happy to see her going crazy, but him too. Shout out Jay White. And speaking of challenges, uh, do you feel like you need a challenge? I know we in an era where like everybody doing challenges to song. Do you feel like you need a challenge for your song? That challenge stuff, boy. That that job making people go crazy, like TikTok, Trilla, song, hit Billboard and stuff. Like, yeah, somebody need to pop up a challenge to one of my songs too. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta kick it off though. You gotta kick I'm it off. Kick it off. Look, Check you this. you quarantined in the house right now. You got, you better, you gotta do a video right after this. <laughs> Ain't nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what's some advice have you been getting from like female rappers or even rappers in general? Like, you know, yeah. coming up, you've been in the game for a minute, but what's some yeah, advice? So, um, I keep going back to Trina because she just was so genuine, so humble. Like, she literally just sat down and kicked game to me. Like, we sat in the um in a trailer. Like, she had her own trailer and I had my own trailer, and I just went in her trailer and was just talking to her. Um, while we were shooting the video on set and she's so cool like um she was just telling me to stay focused and she was like being young you know and a female you're gonna have a lot of these dudes trying to throw you off or whatever and she was like don't let them take advantage of you like stay focused and yeah you know what I'm put your put your career first before you get caught up in all them distractions yeah and i'm pretty sure your father and your and your parents telling you that as well oh yeah oh yeah so yeah, that that's super dope, man. Uh, it's crazy. I I think we was on Facetime a couple years ago with D Lo and Nia K at a school. Uh, I did I did these pet right takeovers and we really? held it up. And yeah, it was a while ago. It, you was younger though. You was it was like a while ago. So I can't. I'm not even about to try to refresh your memory on it. <laughs> but it was definitely dope. And that's and I'm bringing it back to to kids and everything. It's a lot of kids that look up to you and want to be rappers. What's some advice can you give a kid? For sure, like, coming up. Um, I just say, like, I'm living proof that you can build this from the ground up. You just got to work hard and pray harder. Like, I want, my parents weren't already rich. I wasn't related to nobody already in the industry. Like, we really built this from the ground up. So, if you pray hard and work hard, like, you can do it. Because I'm living proof, like, we really did this. And if you go back, I got the receipts, like, 10 years old doing ciphers and talent shows. Like, it yeah. sounds like a dream, but it, it's obtainable. Yeah. And I'm uh I'm gonna go back to this lyric these lyrics, <laughs> you said it best. I gotta come out the gate and hit them with it, so they can know about this. But you say I throw that ass back. He <laughs> <laughs> gonna catch it. I ain't I ain't athletic, but it's tennis for the necklace. Ooh, 
Look, in your story. You gotta finish it for me. Like these girls, <laughs> like wait. No, I ain't have many, but it's penis for the necklace. Hey, where they cash at? I stack it like ten. Where they cash at? I stack it like ten. Where they cash at? I stack it like ten. Where they cash at? I stack it like ten. Where they cash at? I stack it like ten. Where they cash at? I stack it like ten. Where they cash at? I stack it like ten. Where they cash at? I stack it like ten. Where they cash at? I stack it like ten. Where they cash at? I stack it like ten. Where they cash at? I stack it like ten. Where they cash at? I Mulatto, hey, when you come to Chicago, we're going to go crazy in the studio. I promise you that. Uh, okay. It's going to be a, a, a party. And now you're 21, I can bring a bottle in there. And yes, sir. <laughs> I ain't never partied in Chicago yet. So when all this over, oh. I'm coming. Oh, yeah, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. Hey, I appreciate you for real, man. Uh, be so. safe. Enjoy, your, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll talk to you soon, all right? All right. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Tuning in to Lit Pit. Your boy Hot Rod, Power Name 2 Chicago. Shout out to all the out of towners still dropping hearts tuned in. We're going to get Mulatto to the station and we're going to turn up like it ain't no other, man. Uh, if you're still in here, represent where you're from. Uh, drop drop your location, wherever you're from. Not drop your location, but just represent your city. All right. Uh, I'm out. Like I said, I go by Hot Rod. Tune into the show. You know what it is, man. Peace.